How much do you think this apple right here is worth? $2? What if I told you this apple is worth $2.72 trillion? Yeah, I made it up. Of course, obviously it's not. But this apple right here, this apple, it definitely is worth that much. And that's a lot of money. We're talking $2.72 trillion. But it provides a lot of value to a lot of different people. Well, you say, well, how much value does this Apple provide to people? Well, it provides 1.42 billion active users of iPhones. That's a lot of people. Now, if I pull it out of my pocket a blank check with your name on it in exchange for one hour of your time, what would you say that's worth? Would you say it's worth $10, 15, 25, 30, a billion dollars? How much would you say that your time is worth? What's the special number? Then my next question is, well, what's your justification for saying that you're worth this much? Now, to figure this out, we first have to realize that price is what you pay for something and value is what you receive. When an applicant sits down with a potential employer, the employer is trying to gauge how much value can I receive if from paying this person. And so they're going to do their due diligence. They're going to go and look at the person's qualifications and see where they went to school, seeing you know, all these different things, the jobs that they worked at previously. They're going to check the person's references and talk to some people and see if they really checked out and how is their character. And they're going to ask the person, a lot of questions to see if what would they do in this scenario they're going to ask them all types of questions how would you respond if on a job if this happens and see if they can get a good gauge for how much value can this person potentially offer them but the key thing here is to remember that no one's ever going to pay you how much you're willing to pay yourself well why is that well, the potential employer, an example, they are going off of your past and what other people say about you. But only you know what you're willing to do and what you're capable of doing in the future. And so there's the deviation from where you are and where you want to be. And only you can bridge that gap. No one else can say that you can do this or do that because you know all of you. Only you are around you all the time. The next important question is, well, how much is your time worth, which is what I originally asked? Well, it's important to know that time is not worth the same amount as money is. Because time is so limited, but money is infinite. Meaning that you can, once you burn through some cash, you can go back and make more cash. But once you burn through 30 years of your life, you can't get that back. It's gone permanently. So, this brings me to my next point. And that is that instead of spending our time, what we need to do is invest our time. Well, what's the difference? Well, because time is expiring on all of our lives. But the difference is this. It's not about the quantity, but it's about the quality. And what I mean is instead of spending your time doing a lot of different things, you need to invest your time into doing a lot of different things. Because investing is focused on a future and Spending is focused on consuming, and that's focusing on the past. So when you focus more on the future, whether it's trying to leave generational wealth or trying to do things that otherwise people before you weren't able to do, then that creates a big role in what you're able to do. And when you understand how much your time is really worth, then what you do is you begin to try to figure out ways to buy back your time because you can buy back your time. When you sit and you have someone else cook a meal for you and you're not having to prepare that meal, well, that's you just bought back some of your time. And so your time is very important. And few of us don't realize how much time we actually have. So when you invest in yourself, you actually are paying yourself first. That may sound like a selfish thing to do, but it's not selfish because, like I said before, what you pay is what you give. But what you receive is value. If you're paying yourself by investing your time, then what you're going to receive on the back end is a lot of value. And the value you're going to receive is going to outweigh the amount of money that you pay for it. See, a lot of people don't realize that they may see a celebrity on TV and they say, oh, they're worth this amount of money. Well, here's the thing. You may be like, well, 
I'm not worth one trillion dollars at this moment. Well, that's what everyone says on the outside. But only you know what's going on in the inside of you. And see, what I mean by that is that you shouldn't confuse your net worth with your self-worth. See, your self-worth is your self-estimate of how much you're worth. And when you have a low self-worth, that means you're going to settle for less. And you're going to have low self-esteem. Because that's what we're talking about. Esteem is estimate. So what is your estimate of yourself? And when you have high self-esteem, and when you have a high estimate of yourself, then that means you're going to operate at a higher level. You're not going to be limited by how much money you can be bought because you're yielding to a set of principles. And those principles and morals are a reflection of how you see yourself because you won't bend to doing certain things because you know who you are and you know what you're worth. But when you don't know what you're worth, you're willing to sell for anything. You'll follow anybody. You'll go and do anything. But when you have a recollection of a purpose, then you understand that I have certain things that are important to me. And I'm going to live my life by those morals and principles because I have certainty. And that's what it boils down to. Do you trust yourself? Because you should trust yourself. And if you don't, you need to put yourself in alignment so that you be able to trust yourself. Because you will make mistakes. But it's a trust in yourself and knowing how much you're really worth. See, I wouldn't trust my dollar to the lottery because I know the risk of how many people that actually play versus how many people that actually win. But I'm willing to bet on myself any day of the week because I know my true value and I know how much I'm worth. So if this apple right here worth a trillion dollars, yeah, it could be if someone's willing to pay it. But the real question is, how much value are you willing to provide to others? See, when you're ready to operate and figure out how to become the person that can serve people at the highest level possible, then you know that you have a certain amount of self-esteem and self-worth that is able to provide that to other people. But you have to grow into the person that solves a billion problems for a lot of other people. You just don't do that overnight. The more you decide to learn, the greater opportunities are going to come your way and you're going to be able to recognize some things. And when you're able to recognize opportunity, you're able to seize them. And that only comes with practice. So if you believe that you were designed to prosper and serve others at the highest level, this is the spot. You definitely want to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, I suggest you hit that like button because you made it to the end of the video. I am Roberto Swift and I am out.